So these are the additional weights. Suited up with a 50 pound vest and an extra 25 pounds on my shoulders, I'm now ready to start the first step of the candidate physical ability test, also known as the CPAT, a test all firefighters must pass. It is a very physical job. Uh, it, it's very tasking. You have 75 pounds on for the first portion of the test, and then you drop down and you have 50 pounds on. That simulates our turnouts and our air pack and carrying a tool. Climbing stairs while wearing 75 pounds of weight is a lot harder than it looks. Next is the hose drag. There are eight components of the agility test, which all must be completed within 10 minutes and 20 seconds or less. It's designed to simulate real life scenarios. The stairs, you know, common, common in a high rise building. That's why you have the extra weight on to carry a high rise pack and tools going up, you know, multi story building if it's on fire. Uh, the hose drag, that's like advancing a hose to a fire. The dummy drag is like dragging a victim out. The tunnel, the search is, is like going into a dark building. When you're in a fire, you're in a smoke filled, dark environment. The tunnel was definitely a challenge for me. The inside is pitch black and there are dark objects inside that I had to dodge. I ran out of time before I made it to the dummy drag. But I went ahead and finished the course. Hiring firefighters is a multi-step process. The physical challenge is one aspect of it, but it's a crucial one in order to be fit for the job. My takeaway? It's tough being a firefighter. I'm going to stick with TV. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News.